Hello everyone and welcome along to another uh, video. Today I'm going to talk you through how to mount buggy tyres. Uh, uh, this is a journey in itself. Uh, those of you that race uh, 12 scale will know how important uh, tyres are and how to glue them. So these are some old crappers and these are the new ones. So hopefully I'm going to be able to show you how we go from the old to the new. Now, uh, I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned and the only video that I've actually uh, watched was one by Tony Evdoka, uh, lovely Tony who's been in RC, uh, check him out at Rude Bits, uh, he sells lots, lots of lovely uh, items, um, but uh, he sent a video or posted a video on his YouTube channel, go over and check him out uh, on how to glue up tyres, it was pretty good but it was fairly basic and I uh, wanted to maybe go into a little bit more depth uh, with gluing up buggy tyres. The first thing that I always do is at the track is after I've finished a run or finished with my tyres, I always cut the corner off. And the reason why I do that is uh, so that when I come back and I've got a box of tyres and they're all crappers and I'm not going to run them again, I know because I've trimmed the corner off. I'm going to do another video uh, on taking tyres off, how to remove them from the rims and how to uh, then remount uh, new tyres. So look out for that video. So they're aside. So that's a little tip at the track to do. So let, how do we get to these lovely uh, new tyres? So I'm a Yokomo guy. Yokomo guy um, if you're going to buy yourself some new wheels, that's what you'll do. You'll get them in a pack and uh, the fronts normally need trimming. You've got your insert, which have a little bit of a trim as well. And then you've got your two tires, uh, front and rear that you're going to run. So let me set those aside and let's start uh, trimming up uh, these tires or should I say the wheels. So I'll get the, uh, the rears out, cut them out of the pack. Then I'll do the same for fronts. So here we have the fronts and they will need trimming um, invariably. So I'm going to cut this section of the wheel off the rear section and cut it as close to this rim as possible with a pair of curved or straight scissors. Um, the smaller the scissors, the sharper the scissors, the better. So I'm just gonna trim around there. And then I'm gonna do the same with the second one. Get that trimmed off. That's that done. So we now got the front wheels all sorted set those to the side rear wheels now we're going to take the inserts these are a schumacher medium tubby insert and what i was always taught to do was to take the corner off so i'm just going to cut around the corner this is allegedly to give more side bite well uh, I mean, allegedly. I mean, how do you ever know these things, really? Um, and this is for outdoor racing. I do this for indoors as well. Um, so just going to take the corner off here. On both pieces. Now, I'll take my rear tyre. So that's them done. Trim the corners off the tire into the insert. I scrunch it up like so. And then pop it in. Making sure that it feels the tire itself. Is that finished? Now I can set them onto the rim. Now what I always do is make sure that you know, in these, these are mesos, uh, yellow dots, 
Um, I would always make sure that the yellow dot either sticks outside on the wheel or inside of the wheel. So I wanna mount them the same. So I always stick them on the outside. And pull them on like so. Then when I grab this section, I wanna make sure that I grab the tire and the insert inside and pull it over the front lip of the tire so that I'm not just pulling tire forwards. I wanna make sure that I'm pulling foam as well. Pop them on the back. Every class has got a hideous part of it. And I think this is Buggy's hideous bit i mean if you're truing tires everyone talks about truing up 12 scale tires but at the end of the day um this is no fun either so that's the rears done do the same with the fronts so again got the two yellow dots pop those on the outside. Now what I do is I always push the front of the wheel through the tire and pull the tire to the back of the rim. It's just easier that way around. And then what we do, what I'm trying to do here is pull the back of the tire all the way up to the rim of the wheel and then around the front, making sure that the edge of the tire sits in the small gap, this small gap here, making sure that the front of it sits in that, that edge, because when you come to glue, you obviously want to get a nice join. And the prep of getting the tire nicely mounted on the wheel is important. It will make your job when you're gluing it that much easier. So that's that done. All nicely mounted. And then we'll do the same for the other front wheel. Gluing your tyres and making sure that the how they're glued to the rim and it doesn't affect the, the actual edge of the tyre affects how the car how the tyre would run. So if you put glue all the way around the edge of the tyre and you actually glued the tyre to the wheel and you didn't have this flexi section here the tire would actually behave differently compared to it not being glued um, so that's uh, something to think about so now we're on to the gluing phase and this is the bit that is obviously the most important with all of these uh tires and I use uh, Volante tire glue, you get these nozzles, which come in different uh, sizes. So this is a blue one. I don't know what that is, but they come in pink. And ultimately it's the size of the hole that allows lots or little glue uh, to come out. I've done away with those and I'll tell you for why. Uh, when you glue them, as you start gluing and it starts drying, the amount of glue that comes through the nozzle changes. Even when you glue the tire and then you pull the tire, uh, pull the piece of the bottle of glue back onto the desk and you squeeze it to fire glue out, it still doesn't clear it out to the same regard as it is when it's fresh out the packet. So therefore, you've immediately got an inconsistent amount of glue coming out of your bowl. And if it's an inconsistent amount, I don't know whether it's glued or not glued it, and it becomes a dog's breakfast. 
Then you stick them back in the packet and they fill up. Then you're trackside and you run out of them and then you've got to go finding some. So what I decided to do was throw those away and learn to do it straight out the bottle. Now, if you don't know Volanti glue, it is water. And this stuff will glue anything that it looks at. <laughs> so um, this is where the skill needs to take over. Now, to give you some idea, uh, get yourself a mat. So I've got myself an old pit mat here. It's an old shoe, um, Nemo racing one. They're lovely pit mats. I got myself a new one, but I, I sort of dedicated this to tire gluing. Get it and fold it over in half. And then get the tire glue and just do yourself a favor and just tip a bit on the desk. And when you tip a bit on the desk, you can see that it's dripping out. And so every time I'm not squeezing it, all I'm simply doing is tipping it and one drop drops out. The harder I do it, the more drops out. But if I just do it once, I get one drip out. There's the skill. So you do it a lot, a lot comes out. You just do it once and one drip comes out. That is now giving you the same amount of glue coming out each time. I'm just going to get rid of that glue on my desk. Um, and allow that to dry. But that, for me, is the big part of this whole gluing experience. If you take away the nib and you just start using... Um, if you just start using uh, the bottle, for my money anyway, you'll be a way better gluer for it. So here we have the tyres glued on. And now what I'm going to do, take the top off and just pull the edge back and just drop a little bit in. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the glue to go at this section. So if I did it up at the top here, it would just sit at the top. But if I do it slightly down and I drip it in there, what it will do is it will run down and around. Then rotate again, do it in the same section, and then it will drip down and around. Rotate it again, drip it, and down and around. And so once you've then done it three times at the right angle and not done it right at the very top, done it at an angle, it will have gone around and then I then sort of hold it at an angle, squeeze it so I'm getting the glue to disperse and then I get the tire and sit it face down. So the glue then sits onto the wheel. So one, two, three, or, and what might happen is you'll get to a point where all of a sudden the tire has already started to stick. And when you reach that point, you're done. And so that tire's done, face down. Same again. Squeeze it, rotate it. Face down. Now a couple of other little things as well. If you were to glue this, you glue these tires, and then you put them back in the bag that they came in too quickly, what would happen is the glue, the super glue, will end up going all white around the edge of the tire. So make sure you leave them out and let them dry fully. Now the fronts are slightly more tricky because they've got this kind of overhang with the tyre. But same rules apply. I hold the tyre angular so that when I drip it in it's going to roll towards me. Because what you've got in there is you've kind of got a tyre that is sitting like this. There's a bit of a, a groove if you like. And I want the, 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 the super glue to run up against the wheel. So again, I now hold it at an angle 
rotate it, drop it in, rotate it, drop it in, rotate it, rotate it. Then I spin the wheel so that I'm hopefully getting enough glue that goes around the edge. Because remember, this stuff is water. And I think it's a fallacy that people feel more comfortable gluing tires with thicker glue it makes it way harder because the glue doesn't run. If you can get used to tipping the same amount of glue in, you will without doubt glue the tire much, much better. And in the same token, I wanna now lay it down onto the table so that the glue is trying to run itself onto the plastic rim. So again, can squeeze it, rotate it, squeeze it, rotate it. All the time I'm holding it at an angle so that the glue is running towards me, but also down and then make it sit on the floor. Now, what we want to do now here with the fronts, again, slightly more tricky again. So we go up another level in difficulty. You've now got this bevel edge. Now, what I do is I, I pull the front back just a little bit and drop it in. Same again, pull the front back and just drop it in. Pull the front back and just drop it in. Same again, I rotate it, squeeze it, keep rotating it all the time the tire is at an angle. I just then have a look, make sure that there's no glue that has gone between the rim of the wheel and the tire, because I don't want the rim gluing onto the wheel because that will be inconsistent if that tire then hits or bites in a corner. And then I put it face down. Same again, pull the rim back, pop the glue in, pull the rim back, pop the glue in. So it's a long process, but again, you're saving a few quid, it's part of your hobby, TV on, and doing it correctly, I mean, depending on how many tires you run, I mean, and I'm an addict to it, so I always try to run. You know, I might only run a set of tires, two or three runs, and then uh, I'll use them for a club night. And that's them done. They will be dry. And if there's not, if they're not dry and they're not stuck on, just go around, just pull them back just a little bit. And you might find the odd spot that hasn't quite taken. So pull that little spot back and just delicately just drop a little bit of extra in. But in the main, they will work out very nicely and there you have a nicely glued set of tires on the rim and hopefully that's been useful and uh, I know I would have appreciated a video like that showing the sort of the skills of gluing up tires uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that click the like button if you have subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss another video Lots of videos coming your way soon. I look forward to seeing you all as usual. Trackside soon.